Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to NBA 2K18 today. I got two new Ruby Moments cards for gameplay for you, and there's some doozies. First off, poor Zingod. Oh, baby, it was only a matter of time before we got another one of these cards, though. But is he worth it over the Sapphire is the real question that everyone wants to know. Because I'm pretty sure everyone that has a poor Zingot has already badged him up. Has already got him good to go. So how much better is he? Looking at him, 7-3 still. He's not changing there. But he gets 85 to an 80 defensive. 93 to an 89. So definitely some upgrades there. So let's see what changed. He's got, uh, let's see, right off. He's got post fadeaway that went up 3. Post hook went up 3. Shot close went up 5. Uh, looks like mid-range went up to a 97. Man, he should never miss. Three ball goes up about two. Yeah, two. 88 contested three ball. I'm liking that. This is where it really gets important, though. 91 box out. 87 offensive rebound to a 52. That's huge right there. Seeing that I use mine at center, and that's where we're going to be using him today. Should be grabbing those bands. 71 quickness. 95 shot contest. Another big key factor when playing that center position. Uh, looks like a couple things went there. Speed goes up. That's always a good thing. Vertical goes up. That's lovely. That's definitely going to help the rebounds a lot. Looking at everything else, uh, I think strength goes up to a 60. He's not going to get bullied as much anymore. That's huge. Hands are good. Offensive consistency, 98. If he gets any room, he should be drilling it. Now, a new guy that's kind of emerged this year is a... An all-star is what people are calling him in this Victor Oladipo as he played with Russell Westbrook last year. He's kind of left in the shadows. He's having a phenomenal year, 6'4". So in all opinion, you can really run him. I would actually probably run him at point guard, but I like my point guards right now. And uh, this guy, from what I've played with in the past, doesn't have the greatest dribble moves, at least for me. So we're going to run him at shooting guard, see how he does there. Natural position, 92 defensive overall, 93 offensive. Comes with five bronze badges, 95 standing layup, 93 driving layup. Uh, he's got 95 dropout. Ooh, I love that dropout. 91 mid-range, 89 three ball shall do, 92 free throw. He's got 86 ball control, so maybe that'll help. Maybe he's never had uh, speed boosted ball control. Maybe that'll definitely help out. We'll have to try it out. 92 lateral quickness. He's got good defense here. 70 steal is okay, but look at the defense. He's got mid 80s. I'm liking that. 95 driving dunk with 85 driving dunk tendency. I wish they bumped that up just a little bit. 85 speed with ball seems nice. 98 offensive consistency right along with the Porzingis. These guys should be making everything if they get a little bit of space. But there's only one way to find out. Let's get some gameplay. All right, it looks like we found an opponent. Let's see what kind of team we're going up against. He has... He's in the Amethyst League. He's got Giannis, Dan Marley, Ron Artest, Spencer Haywood, and Brooke Lopez. It doesn't look the greatest on the outside, but it's usually those teams that don't look the greatest usually put in the work. Well, Porzingis, Victor, we'll see what they're made of. And here we go. All right, here we go. We got Ruby Porzingis and Ruli Oladipo. It's time to see what these boys are made of. Let's go, let's go. Bring it in, LeBron. Where are we looking? Back over to Jason Richardson, who's now in the starting lineup. I don't usually like him in the starting lineup because him and LeBron both were 23. T-Mac, how'd you miss that? Freaking idiot. He's off to an early three ball, which we should have been off to an early three ball, but T-Mac's too busy. <laughs> what is going on? LeBron, get your head on. Lord help me. Let's go. Get in there, Jason Richardson. Hall of Fame posterizer activated. Bro, I'll never understand this game. We'll throw it up to Porzingis. He's got a wide open lane here all the way. Hammer time. Coast to coast with the big guy. Let's go. We're throwing it up to T-Mac. I'm throwing it back over to Porzingis. We're running right back for a look of bleh, bleh, bleh. Doesn't matter. We missed. What the fuck are you doing? Single rebound. Why can't we get a rebound? Get in there, Porzingis. Get in there. Own this, Brooke Lopez. You should be owning him. You're much better. Brooke Lopez has finally missed. So we'll see what we can do with keeping exposed in here. There we go, Porzingis. You're too slow, you freaking giant. Bring it out to Victor Oladipo. We're going to come all the way around. Bridgman knee. Oh, that, yeah. No, the dribble moves work a thousand times better with that 86. That, I guess that was what it was all along. Absolutely the rebounding. He has had no chance. Get in there, Oladipo. <laughs> Oladipo showing him who's boss. Let's go, let's go. We got 37 seconds left. Victor Oladipo already has four points. Oh, we're getting in there, baby. Victor Oladipo is a man on a mission. And there, we're throwing up to Oladipo. He's got to take on Dan Marley. Can he take him? Oh, like a child. Start of the second quarter, we got totally killed on rebounds in that first quarter. It's definitely put us in the hole a little bit. 
So we'll see what we can do to try and fix that in the second quarter. We'll leave Oladipo in for a little bit longer and then bring back in the demigod. Count here. Gotta make every position count. Oh, wide open Anthony Davis. You should make that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Davis, who's got a lane, got a finish. He doesn't have a fit. Wait, wait. Dude, anyway, is there any refs for me out there today? No? <laughs> Shut up! On there, let's throw it up to Oladipo. Do I want to stop and pop? I might stop and pop. How's it? No, doesn't look good. Why can't you stop and pop? Work on me. That might be my own controller's fault. I don't know about that, but everything else just seems to be crumbling. Except for that. Throw it up to Oladipo, who's going to eat Jojo White first. Okay, unless he stops and does that, which as long as he makes it, I'm all right with. We're back up to Oladipo. The nice thing about this Oladipo is he is always one of the first guys up, and <laughs> he always finishes. 60% of the time, it works every time. All right, let's go. We finally got kind of back in this game. T-Mac running all the way coast to coast. That's the Mac attack for you. Just have one guy that he loves. Oh, look at Oladipo, man. Oladipo, bro. That drop foul is killing. Tired. He was tired. Get in there, Porzingis. Too fast. There we go. We're finally getting some fouls on the fast break. Porzingis, stepping it up. Take advantage of the, the post fade. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Porzingis, baby. There you go. A little trail cheese for you. Trail mix. Let's go, Paul George. Throw it over to Jason Richardson. And a Hall of Fame posterizer. Oh, oh, oh you're in the background. All right, good rebound there. We got good defense. We got Porzingis on Brook Lopez, and Brook Lopez is a snail. Don't do too well because I get a lot of freaking turnovers. Jason Richardson, how did we not get that foul? Porzingis to save the day. All right, guys, update at halftime. Both tied at 14 points apiece. Porzingis, one rebound is a little upsetting, but he doesn't have badges. One block, six to eight, zero, one from three pointer. I thought we made a three pointer. Didn't we make that trail cheese? That was that a two? But he got 0-1 for 3-pointer from Victor, but 5 is 6 from the field. Looking at 1 assist, 14 points. Both these guys are shooting pretty well. We'll see if we can get him a couple 3 balls, and this guy's not easy. We'll see what we can do to kind of lock this puppy up. All right, start of the third quarter. I think I need to leave my starters in just a little bit longer. We'll bring in the bench early because the starters are still probably pretty tired. But then Oladipo, <laughs> that, he's been the shocker so far. I'm holding it. That's all right. We'll bring it around. Get in there, Ola Depot. Oh, oh my God! Total baptism. <laughs> Let's go home. Let's go home. Liking the post move here. He's loving the post move. Oh, Junior Bridgman just treating whoever. Who was that? Jojo? Yeah, Jojo. Back to school. Point guard, huh? He wants to bring the ball down a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, Anthony Davis, wide open for three. Black it, black it. Get out of here. Oh, into Bob Love. Bob Love. Fit. How is he blocking every damn thing I shoot? This game has been so rough, man. He's so good on defense. It's been so rough. Oh, D-Mac. Yeah, it says forget defense. With this frame rate, how are you supposed to even see what the hell is going on? Oh, there you go, Porzingis. And one! The big guy! Demi God! Is Jet Seltzer in the stands? All over it. We're looking over to Jason Richardson, who's all alone. All the big posterizer incoming! Pop up here. Get up here, big guy. There we go. Now back out to Porzingis wide open. Blackity Mackity! All right, start of the fourth quarter. I really feel like I need to slow it down. I'm playing to his pace. If we slow it down, take smart shots, should pull out this victory. Bring it down with T Mac. I'm definitely looking for a trail cheese right here. Trail cheese galore. Yes, sir, Rebob. Brooke Lopez back out to Porzingis wide open three, and it's a green bean means go! pick and roll man if I ever learn to guard the pick and roll properly I swear to god I won't lose as many games she down it's my favorite it's absolutely my favorite but he can't guard LeBron and that's one thing going for us it's a little quiet in that third quarter he's good he's zooming right around everyone that drop foul man I'm telling you it works like a charm too fast where are we looking out to Anthony Davis finds the lane post a time Giannis just got the wall Let's go, let's go. We're throwing it up to Bob Love. I'm looking over to Junior Bridgman. Wide open. Green Bay Junior Bridgman saved the day. Paul George. No, no, no. Back out to wide open LeBron. LeBron. Bang! LeBron on fire. The king. Wide open. Wide open. Oh, looking over. Looking over. Back it up. Back it up. Oh, baby. Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, leaving T-Mac wide open. Yeah, that's a big mistake. Big mistake. It should have been. Let's stop this guy's freaking offense. Killing me. LeBron going to the line, saving us. Finish, we got to come. Oh, my God. Too close. Too close. Where are we looking? Back out to Porzingis. Porzingis. Oh, pick it up. There you go. And one. Porzingis gets his own and one. Clutch. Get out. Oh, 
god. Alright, 41 seconds left, man. I really want to try and waste some time, but to be honest, if we don't score here, we're going to want that time back, so we'll see what we can do. What? Oh, hi there. Wondering what happened to the rest of that game? Well, the good news is we did end up holding him off. We ended up winning, but the bad news is that my video storage was all full. So you guys didn't get to see the end of it, unfortunately. It wasn't a nail biter or anything. I ended up pulling away. I think Porzingis had another shot or two. And it was the game he just ended up fouling me. So you didn't really miss anything. But shout out to my opponent for playing that game. A really good opponent. Definitely knows how to utilize the post and the pick and roll. Which is not something you see too often in this game. But luckily, this was the first time I've ever used these cards. So we were still able to see the stats, kind of. So as you can see, I only played the one game. He got 29 points with Porzingis. He got two defensive rebounds, which... And one offensive rebound, so a total of three rebounds total, which is kind of lackluster, but you do need to badge this card out to have it be fully effective with something like that. He only got one block. He got two fouls, two field goals made. Uh, I think he ended up making a three ball. No, maybe not. Okay, maybe he didn't. But looking at the Victor Oladipo from the stats that we're able to see here, one game played, he scored 18 points, so not doing much in the second half. First half was his time to shine. Two assists. Um, what else did we get? Field goals made, he made six. And that's about all she wrote. He got about 18 points. But let's talk about the two cards. This card right here is going for... I got mine for 42000 which I overpaid. But there was only two up and uh, had to get a video out. So, yeah, that's the story of that nature. But I, I like this card. Uh, with the ball control, his dribbles are a lot better. I guess that was the problem all along. It wasn't that his dribble animations were bad. He just didn't have good ball control. So he now has that, which makes this card very elite. His shot is a lot like Bradley Beal's, just a little bit slower, but not slow enough where he can't get anything done. He's got great drop foul, good defense. You could run him at the one or two, preferably the one to get they see full effect out of him. But I would play anywhere from like a 25 to 30,000 for this card on a one to 10, easily a nine. And then we're talking this Porzingis, guys, just went absolutely off in this game. What a great card. He is going for 140, or at least that's what I paid for him because I always take a big fat L up the hoo-ha. But, uh, yeah, no, I definitely think we're going to see a Christmas promotion card next week in Moments Pack. So I would wait for that big market drop. I do think it is going to be a Kobe Bryant because he is getting his jersey retired next week. And uh, it's the week of Christmas. I don't, obviously, we know they don't work on the holidays. Uh, yeah, thanks, Thanksgiving. Thanks, Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but hopefully they give us a promotion card. I do think it's going to be some type of Kobe or tribute to Kobe. Where they did the Kareem Day, I think we could see a Ruby Kobe, an Amethyst Kobe, and hell, maybe even a Diamond Kobe. Or, Ronnie has been hinting at a Pink Diamond, or at least he did two weeks ago. Maybe that's it. I would be very shocked if we saw a Pink Diamond Kobe card this early in the year, but it's 2K. Anything goes. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, I would wait for that market crash and try and pick him up for about 50-60. 50 60 is what you want to pay for this card and you got to remember you got to badge him out so yeah it'll still be 100k after you're all said and done with him but guys i hope you enjoyed the gameplay i know we had a couple hiccups because of the video uh storage not being there it wasn't able to record my face cam until just now after i cleared it all out and uh but luckily we were able to still see the stats you guys were able to see 90 percent of the game and uh you didn't really miss anything afterwards anyways but guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did leave the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you're new and rich nation party on